Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I thought that I would videotape making this little painting of a cow. And then I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to take so long to do it in real time. So I thought I'd speed it up. And then I thought, this is gonna be a really boring video. So I guess I'm gonna to have to talk over it. So here I am talking over it. You get to watch me paint <laughs> and listen to me talk. So I'm painting on a round, what is called a tondo. It's a piece of wood um, that is prepared by um, a company close, uh, Rustic Burl in a town near me. And I ordered a bunch because I'm in a special show called Pi Art Squared. So it's a, it's a it's basically a square foot show like I run, but it has to be everything in a circle. So it's a really unique concept. And I thought I would do a cow. So everybody asked me why I paint cows and did I grow up on a farm? And I did not grow up on a farm. I was a city girl. But when I was in college, in art college, they had us go to the Royal Winter Fair in Toronto every year. And I just loved painting the cows. They were just so much fun. So you're seeing here how fun the red paint receives my color. Lots of people ask me too, why do you paint on red? I don't know. I just love it. I feel like it just receives the color palette that I use. Uh, it gets rid of the scary white is always my first um, go-to answer, but I also love the way it receives the paint. So in remembering how this went while I was filming, so I'm still getting used to filming for you guys. Um, I think it makes me feel a little bit more vulnerable. It like makes me feel a little bit more self-conscious. I might make decisions that um, I worry about. Is that going to look good? Eventually, I think I'm going to get um, better at just filming and not caring. And, you know, sometimes I have to do a little bit of self-talk and say, um, I don't have to use it if I don't like the way it turned out. It's not like I'm bound to uh, publish the video. So um, yeah, you'll hear that, uh, you'll see that I'll get better at doing this. So what I do is this is called the color blocking stage. I'm blocking in large swaths of color. I'm using lots of color on the cow. I'm doing uh, the foreground and the background all at the same time. The cow is getting painted. So the, the side of the cow is that, uh, that green color that I'm just putting down there if you're trying to figure out how this cow is, is built. And at some point I do remember that it got a little muddy and I didn't quite know what to do with it. So you'll see as I get through that process um, when it gets muddy and then how I fix it. At one point I noticed, so if you're looking, the eye on your right is too high. So it, uh, you're gonna have to watch and see uh, when I fix that. So I'm just blocking in color and having an absolute great time. So I used to go to the Royal Winter Fair and I used to paint cows. And um, I paint cows also to loosen up. When I have a new body of work to do, I decide, you know, I'm just going to loosen up by painting a cow. A cow is a great portrait where the uh, person or the, the animal doesn't care what the painting looks like. They, they're not gonna care if it looks exactly like um, the cow that I'm painting from reference. So they're really, really fun. So I, when I was in college, it was a great coup to um, be the one that painted the Royal Winter Fair poster. It used to be a thing that the teachers talked about, that this would be a thing that you should um, maybe aspire to, is painting the poster for the Royal Winter Fair. Years and years and years and years went by, and I was invited to enter and paint, you know, an entry for the Royal Winter Fair. And I did not remember this coup. I did not remember that it was a thing. And I entered um, a painting of a cow that I had just finished. 
And sure enough, she won. So it was really fun. That was a really fun experience. She won. I got to go to the Royal Winter Fair. I got to sign posters. And it wasn't until a friend of mine said, congratulations, you you, uh, you did it. And I said, I, I did what? Well, you, you, got, you got the Royal Winter Fair poster. Don't you remember how the teachers used to always say that it was a real coup if you could get it? And I didn't, I didn't remember. So um, that was really fun when I realized that I had accomplished a goal that I, I didn't even remember that I had. So, all right, so you see me layering all sorts of color down and I'm building and I, I'm bringing it from dark to light, adding lots of different colors. A cow does not have green or blue or any of those colors on it, but I use it. Cows are fun. They don't have to, it doesn't have to be realistic looking. I have a book called Look at Those Cows that I uh, did with my daughter. It's an ABC book and it is um, all, you know, I, there's a cow for each letter. She wrote the book and I illustrated it and we had an absolutely great time. When we were doing it, we did a bit of a GoFundMe, which was super fun. And people were able to sponsor the book and pick the letter and uh, the name that they wanted to go in the book. I approached the dairy farmers of Ontario and that was really fun because they loved the concept and they picked it up, they sponsored the book and a copy went into every grade school in Ontario. So that was super fun. So here you see, now I'm just getting, kind of getting a little abstract in the background and I'm, oh, I'm putting little dots, making that little uh, shiny nose, uh, you know, the glisten. Um, my favorite thing to do is the dot on the eyes. When I get around to putting the dot on the eyes, that means I'm virtually done. So I thought I was done the painting and, um, and I finished filming, but then I did a few more strokes and stay tuned till the end. And I'll, I will show the painting um, on a background that will pop it and you'll see the few strokes that I added. And I, I think it's because I added them because I wasn't filming. I, um, I, I was looking at it and I felt it needed a few things and I did it instinctually instead of uh, filming it. So honestly, guys, I think I'll get, I think I'll get better, but I hope you are really enjoying this painting of a cat. There I am. I'm fixing that eye. See that? So the one, yeah, that's better. Makes him look not so uh, off kilter, doesn't it? <laughs> So my daughter wrote the book and it is a great book because all the definitions, it's, it, it, it's a book that even adults have to look up some of the words. And um, so I, I can, uh, see, let me think if I can, I, if I can quote it. Amos and Addie are affably antsy. Mm. And Beckett's. No, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm going to have to read it. So um, you can find that book on my website and uh, order it. It's a great book. It's really fun. Uh, lots of people enjoy it. So I hope you're enjoying this um, video of the cow. I'm going to be quiet now and let you finish watching. And I'll maybe I'll even add a little music here. I hope you have an absolutely great day. I hope you get in your studio. I hope you paint. I hope you have fun. So I'm back. I couldn't find any royalty-free music that I liked. So I thought I'll come back and talk you through uh, the rest of the painting and actually just say, if you like what you've seen, hit subscribe. You'll hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when I put up a new uh, video for you. I hope you really did enjoy uh, watching this. If you have any questions, put them in the uh, comments below and I'll try to get to them and I'll try to answer as many as I can. I'm an acrylic painter. 
I'm from Hamilton, Ontario, and man, do I love what I do. Have a wonderful day. Paint a cow, paint a chicken, paint whatever you want. <laughs> Talk to you soon.